Good evening, this is Over the Edge. I'm Don Joyce, not uh, feigning any characters tonight, because we have some tragic news. This was scheduled to be a Dick Vaughn broadcast, and we've heard, and perhaps you have too, a tragic crash hours ago of Northern Pacific Flight 17 at Trent City, Oklahoma, taking the life of Dick Vaughn. This has happened just hours ago, and uh, Negative Land is here uh, to substitute for Dick, and, and I think to spend the night paying a tribute to Dick Vaughn. Look at this, look at this. Blew up an engine. Equipment, we need equipment. Blew an engine. Uh, that that and we are all shaken up here. I hope you'll forgive us for some slow cues later on, or whatever. It's bound to happen. So we will be devoting tonight's show, the entire, our number is 848-4425, words of condolences or memories concerning Dick Vaughn, we'd be glad to receive them here. Also gifts and flowers can be sent to 2207 Shattuck Avenue, Berkeley, California, KPFA in care of Over the Edge. We'll be playing excerpts from some of Dick's greatest hits. And other things in tribute to the man. Responsible, receptive, reusable. This is the Universal Media Network. Now all you got to do is call. Yeah, remember, remember that time that uh, Dick said that um, uh, Ringo Starr died? Well, I guess Ringo didn't really die, but Dick's dead now, but. Well, to quote Minnie River, Riverton, loving you was easy because you're beautiful. Good luck in your new journey. I don't know you, but I love you. This is the very first time that anyone in broadcasting has been given the authority to actually witness and describe the flight of a departed soul and relay the information so that you can hear, experience, and prepare yourself for this heavenly journey. The terminal is very crowded today, and we are told that this is not at all unusual. Because the exact time of departure is uncertain, you are urged to remain ready at any moment. Thank you. The crowd seems to be milling about, most everyone talking, some praying, some laughing, with only a few people acting as if they were paying any attention to the back of your car, your bottom cushion dry removable, and maybe use that for flotation device if necessary. Hello, you're on Celebrity Wives Quiz. This is... Somehow you missed a little bit of the song, so here it goes. Contest. We've got more winning coming up right here at the California Superstation. Darkness seems to be falling about us as the passengers approach the gate of death. Powerful drugs. Choose. Here's what's his name. This is Superstation Ear Witness News. I'm Buck Trent reporting in our top story for the hour. 
A 16-year-old youth who killed his abusive father was reported at peace with himself after being convicted of manslaughter and acquitted of murder. He's very calm, said Maria Jockey, mother of Richard Jockey. Yeah, this is the weatherman. I don't give a damn about Dick Vaughn. He is just a stupid disc jockey without any ounce of any sense at all and no social redeeming value of any bit at all. That's more than enough. What kind of talk is this anyway? I only came to offer comfort. Comfort? You offered a pedism. This much I know. Life is eternal. Death is but a stage of life. So, loved ones of Dick Vaughn, take heart. After bidding farewell to loved ones and friends, the passengers show their tickets to the angel who waits at the gate of death. And now, Crosley Bendix, cultural reviewer and director of stylistic premonitions for the Universal Media Network, with today's Arts Review. Good hello. Today's uh, arts review is not really a review of the arts. This is one of those rare to very rare occasions when the pumping legs of disaster push me past the arts and into life itself, or in this case, death. The death of a life. A life dedicated to wholesome, uplifting entertainment in the Hollywood tradition. Tonight I would like to pay a final F-I-N-A-L tribute to the tragic department of Dick Vaughn. He was legendary for so short a time, uh, the meager magnetic residue of his talents, so rarely committed to the public record now must suffice for posterity. The legend himself has been cut down from the sky like some flaming Greek god or something by a brutal act of metal fatigue. Or was it? But uh, let's not speculate until the last words of Dick Vaughn are heard. Well, those words, so important that Mr. Vaughn broke into the cockpit just before impact to gasp them into the flight recorder, will surely clear the air around this complicated accident. Or was it? Mexican and U.S. naval forces are now dragging the Gulf of Mexico for that flight recorder module. We'll see. Meanwhile, a young, somewhat untested, but completely believable communicaster has been ripped from our insatiable need for diversion. Hijacked by God for who knows what purpose. Well, that purpose in the ultimate sight of this anthropomorphic cosmos, which we like to imagine has purposes akin to our own, is probably a good one. But what does that leave us? Nothing. Nothing but the memories, as bitter as salt, as gray as a pigeon. But a pigeon is a kind of dove, and doves fly to heaven in baggageless grace to sit on the right hand of God, assuming you're looking from behind him, and what can one confusing eulogy do to ease the sourness his passing could not assuage? What can we do now that he's gone? A few tears, a sniffle of relief, a small smirk, or a smattering of the surname Dick branded on helpless newborn infants as yet unaware that they must now take up the incendiary torch of entertainment only to drop it and be burned and die but to rise again out of their own ashes on waves of applause then to get work without trying then to become lazy 
to start drinking, to make bad investments, inflated ego, lose your friends, debauchery, all for naught. <laughs> Goodbye, Dick. And may Interworld Airlines have a blood spattered ticket waiting for you. Good morning. been listening to cultural reviewer and social critic Crosley Bendix. <laughs> we'll take our next call. Could you play Muskrat Love in memory of bad taste? We'll be taking a journey, a wondrous expedition through an almost forgotten land to tread a fusty old pathway. Dick Vaughn's moribund music of the 70s. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. What is the number again? Three six two four eight four one. They're waiting now. All right. You'll probably hear about it soon. The state's best California superstation. I'm Dick Vaughn with the hottest music for you till 7 a.m. And amidst this holy setting, we see a small child apparently taken from his parents at an early age. Hi, is this Kim Tio? Yes. Hi, um, someone told me to call you in. They've spoken to you before about uh, the death of a, a disc jockey who was on, on KPFA. Uh, somebody called a few minutes ago, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know if you, they said that you were actually were interested in details. I don't, I don't know what you wanted to know. Is this KPFA? Yeah. Okay, what, what's the story? I, I don't know anything about it. Is there any oh, uh, a, 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 an occasional disc jockey on here on a program called Over the Edge. Uh, he just died in a, a plane crash. And uh, that's all. We're just doing a sort of a tribute to him on oh, our okay. program tonight. Okay, fine. Uh, you guys didn't put our number out over the air by chance, did you? No. Because we're getting a bunch of calls. All of a sudden, they just said, KPFA, just put your number on the air. I don't know what's going on, because I'm, I'm in the other room, and, and maybe something weird is, is happening with our lines being messed up. Uh-huh. Uh, is there any chance of asking whoever's doing, whoever's doing the show if they put our number over the air? Yeah. Can, do you want to hold on for a second? Hello? 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 Hello. Hi, this is Steve Walsh with ABC News. How are you? Hi. Hi, did you guys just put our number on the air? Yeah, something? someone has this line on the air. You're on the air right now, actually. I'm on the air right now. Yeah. Do you want me to talk? Do you want to talk off the air? Uh, well, it doesn't make any difference. We okay. We're wondering if you just put our number on the air for some reason. I think it might have inadvertently got out. I'm certainly sorry. I'm, are you getting calls? Uh, we're getting a few calls, but we'll oh. certainly tune to KPFA to keep informed. I'm sorry about that. I think uh, we didn't intend to. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Hello. When did this occur? Several hours ago. Well, do you think that uh, Dick Vaughn, since he had it all figured out from all angles, apparently, could uh, possibly hear the radio waves and maybe send us a message from beyond? I think it would be great! He's asking for a lot. You are This is Dick Vaughn speaking. Light American uh, 1, 91 Heavy, you want to come back into what runway? At this moment, you're hearing the voice of one who has passed into a dimension where my art has no value. This is easy too. Yeah, that airplane just lost the uh, engine here. Because of this, I have prepared this tape. Your engineers and announcers have been provided with material that will keep Dick Vaughn alive. But I'll be waiting for you, baby. 
they've provided their own material as a memorial to this tragic occurrence. I'll be waiting for you there. This announcement is to be played hourly. God bless you.